Well, Matt, it's defeat against Bristol Rovers here at the Banksy Stadium today. Just get your overall thoughts on that 90 minutes, please. We've not lost a game of football because an opposition of or Bristol have cut us open. We've lost a game of football because we haven't done our job at set plays. Quite simple. Um, so yeah, it, it's not good enough in that aspect because I think you, you, or we, um, we all take responsibility 100%, and I take responsibility for for that. It's it's a difficult one because I felt that even in the second half we've had two or three wonderful opportunities to to make it two nil, and then. Unfortunately, we've had two of the boys injured and had to come off the pitch, and it changes the shape and it it makes it slightly um, uh, disjointed. But in saying that, we should still defend better at the set plays, and, and it's unacceptable to concede the goals that we did in that way. So it was two goals from two corners, you know, ones that have come straight across the box, and it's been somebody's been left unmarked or free at the back post, and it's a simple tap. Is that the biggest disappointment for you that the, the first head has not dealt with? The biggest disappointment is is that when you're given somebody to mark, that's your job to do, uh, and we haven't done that. Now, what you have to do in 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 football is look at yourself first, and do the players understand the information? I think they do, and then it's it's understanding and trusting your your players to go out there and, and take up uh, the respective positions. So it's difficult today because I felt in the first half of the game. For the first 15, 20 minutes, we, we didn't really get to grips with with the opposition. And then as the game went on, I felt that in the second half we got stronger. But we didn't we didn't start the second half probably as well as we should have. We were up on the back foot. Um, I don't know if there's, there's other issues going on in terms of the players' um, confidence. But they should have been really confident going into to today's game. I spoke to him about it before the fixture and spoke about it to you during the week. I was extremely confident in the players. Um, so it's, it's extremely disappointing to lose today to essentially two set plays. And what can be done to eradicate those errors? Because we've seen it so far this season that set pieces seem to have been a little bit of our Achilles heel in terms of goals conceded. What can now be done to eradicate those errors? So what we, what we did last week and in terms of working on them. We tried a slight change today in terms of the defensive um, setup. It's responsibility, it's accountability. I think um, there's no substitute for making sure that you practice, practice, practice along with, along with those set plays. And, and that's what next week looks like for, for the players. There's a huge amount of, of work for, for us to do on the training pitch um, because it doesn't get any easier next week. And from your point of view, is it even more frustrating that you were leading and then to lose from that sort of position where you know, they've not really caused Carl too many problems in goal? That's the disappointing thing, is that I felt um, we probably weren't good enough in possession. But in saying that, I thought out of possession the players worked very hard. And, and that's probably the disappointing thing for me, is that we've lost a game of football based on two set plays. Um, it's inexcusable really, to be perfectly frank. So it, it's it's now a case of like always try and do, remove the emotion, but ask the players to reflect honestly and openly because when we're back in for training, um, you know, we need to, to make sure that we're better in training then we take that into games in terms of set plays. I, I still felt, as I said, that we created enough chances to, to for the game to be out of sight come in at 1-0 and, and the players should be confident going into the second half so to concede another late goal like we have done is is yeah very very disappointing and not good enough you often talk about players being a little bit braver on the ball at times was that something you would have liked to have seen a little bit more of today of course I would have give it to players under under pressure I felt that or I feel that we have players within this squad who um, are comfortable receiving the ball under pressure, comfortable wriggling, comfortable getting the other sides of players and we just didn't do that enough today. So we didn't, at times we were too disjointed between the front and the back players. So from my perspective, obviously lots of things that, that we need to improve on as a group um, because we've got Exeter next weekend and that's another difficult game. 
I'll end on a positive. It's three goals in five home games for Kieran Phillips. Took his goal really well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He took it exceptionally well. Unfortunately, his his hamstring um, was very tight, and we had to make a call, or I had to make a call on that, and because. Kieran, I think, is, is a player that's grown in confidence. It's getting better. You're seeing um, that he's scoring goals at, at this level, and there'll be far more to come from Kieran. So, yeah, it's a, that's a positive. If, if I'm being perfectly honest, probably the only positive to take out today.